Today's going to be a long day. As you were. Tense and single unit response. We are going to work with nozzle control, hose handling. There's going to be a driver operator function. There's going to be a hydrant function. We're going to work with an attack crew. To lead that line and get it ready. That means that they have to have their tools ready to force the door, to be able to open up that door and make an attack on that fire. We're going to work on an interior attack and then we're going to move to a defensive mode where we're going to pull everybody out of the building. We're going to set up our ground monitors, our aerial device. Get behind your gear and your class B uniforms. Now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
reading that? here than it is right here. There's a big difference. So keep your hands lower at a state of ready. You'll be up a little further. This area here is where we're going to be hitting our hose screen. That's where we're going to direct that penciling you just learned outside. There's nowhere for the heat to go. Basically these little vents is all it has. So you will get saturated. That's why it's so critical that we make sure that our gear is on correctly, that we check each other. You'll be checked by safety, but you are your brother's keeper, right? You gotta so remember what I told you about opening up the bale. We're penciling. This is not a typical technique we use during a fire attack, but we're gonna use this in the flashover. Hit it. Hit it. Rotate. Put the nozzle down. Rotate. Dutchman on three, dirty Dutchman on three. One, two, three. Dirty, dirty Dutchman. Dutchman. You dial the nozzle to a straight stream, sweeping the deck in front of you, pushing everything away from you. If the instructor does this, that means they want you to open up to a narrow fall pattern. It's about teamwork and working together.
take a knee once you get up here. today is a pre-game for the structure burn next week on the rotations and everything we're doing so we don't walk on our knees we keep one leg forward we push the line forward as hose and we manipulate the nozzle into the overhead and get some water to cool down those temperatures up there so we got this yes, sir. Uh, kind of scared kind of nervous yeah, no excited, all right sir. Excited, you guys sir. got everything that you need to get this done everything I got faith in you. You'll do well today. Keep moving. Move forward. Move with a purpose. All right? Yes, sir. All right. Back to the rehab. One, two, three. Buy in. We're good out. Back out. Back out. Back out. Back out.
Today's going to be a long day. We did a lot of work already, and these lines laid out. Now we get in there and have some fun, right? So, take advantage of this. You can learn every position that you're here. You can learn at every opportunity. When's the last time you've seen a dump tank set up, and a draft, and all those other things that are important to a firefighting operation? Maintain your situational awareness, move with a purpose, and get the job done. Got it? Yes, sir. Are we good? Yes, sir. Oh yeah, really excited. Are we good? Yes, yes sir! Yeah, baby, here we go. No.
A little warm. Yeah. Yeah, baby. It's still hot. Light them up. Burn day. Woo. Get some. Dirty Dutchman at it. Woo. Fire Ninja's at it again. Woo. Class Dirty Dutchman. Buy in. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah. 94. It's so hot. <laughs> rolling over the head, uh, just trying to overcome the BTUs with more water pressure, and uh, it's been a really awesome day. They were rolling over a bit. It was pretty crazy, honestly. It's cool to see a real fire like that. Uh, about 400 degrees right above our helmets. Feeling your shoulder, our shoulder towards the door. You start feeling that pretty good. Man, it was crazy. Seeing the way that it was spreading, the thermal layering was affecting the fire. It was, it was insane, best thing I've ever seen. Incredible, it was really, it was like a movie. It was like watching a movie, but you're living it. You see the fire coming right at you, and it's kind of hard to describe, you kind of have to see it. I'd recommend it. Uh, we saw the thermal layering, um, but the flames just rolling across the ceiling. Uh, used a thermal imaging camera, 800 degrees right down in the entryway, about 300 degrees where we were at. It's really hot right now, smoky, the uh, wind has changed, and now we have exposure lines trying to pull down the uh, power lines in the tree. An amazing day today. It was, um, it was a great experience seeing the fire come out, being able to knock it down suppressor with my dad. It was a good, ex it was awesome. It was nothing better. Glad to be here. Glad to have the opportunity to be next to my son, fighting fire. It's awesome. I can't explain it. Thank you. <laughs>